Hey everybody, this is Bobby with bobbystamps.blogspot.com. I'm sure you guys have heard the news. Stampin' Up! released their retiring items yesterday on their website, and I think it crashed a couple of times, more than once. People i seen on Facebook were waiting a couple of hours to put their order in on the retiring items. So it's from the annual catalogs and the occasions catalog. And some of these stamp sets are just amazing. So I would not wait. If there is something in here that you want, I would run to your computer and get your order in as quickly as you can because they are going to go fast. It's not just stamp sets. It's accessories, inks, punches, Thinlets, framelets, you name it. There, there is just, I, I think that the list was nine pages long, but I can't remember for sure. But anyway, I just wanted to share that information with you. So make sure that you get your order in quick. And I'm going to showcase one of the, actually several of the items that are on the retirement list. So that way to give you a couple of ideas of how to use them. So we're going to make a card today and we're going to use the a nice cuppa. And this stamp set I've had um, for a little bit, and I just decided to pull it out and get um, get making a card with it for you guys today. So we're going to use that. We're going to use the coordinating paper for the um, nice cuppa. And if you can see, there's just so many cute different designs. Oops, that's one paper that I've been using. I love that one. I think that one is just super cute. So anyway, the one that we're going to use is this one. It's the one that we're going to use today. We're going to also use the cups and kettle framelits. And if I'm not mistaken, this bundle package, it was on the retire with the retired list. So we're going to use the tea kettle. We're going to use the little cup and this little design. I'm not really sure what that design is called, but we're going to use that one. We're going to use the spoon, and then we're going to use the little wavy design too. So for the cup and the tea kettle and the spoon, you just need a scrap piece of Hello Honey cardstock, and that is this. And that's what we're going to use to cut out the tea kettle and the cup and the spoon. And then our card base is going to be Lost Lagoon, and it's just the standard A2 size card scored at four and a quarter. And then out of the designer paper for the Acapa, um, just cut this paper down, and it is three by five. We're going to use the Subtle Candy Dots. That's what we use on the bottom of the spoon. The only ink pad we're going to use is Lost Lagoon. We're going to use the dotted trim lace, and this is in delightful Dijon, but it blended in pretty well. All Most of these things are on the retired list, so I wanted to showcase them for you guys. How we made the little drops with the um, for the tea kettle is the trio punch, and I'm also going to change this card up just a bit, um, and I'll show you that, and I'll show you the changes that I'm doing as we're going along. I'm just going to get that out of the way. We're going to use our fine tip glue pen. The crystal effects is on the retired list. We're going to use that. The two-way glue pen is on the retiring list, and we're going to use that as well. I think that's it, guys, for all the accessories that we're going to use. So the first thing that we're going to do is run our framelits through the big shot and get them punched out. I'm going to do that really quick off camera, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So what we're going to do, you can see I punched out the tea kettle and the Hello Honey and the cup. We have the spoon punched out. And then out of the designer series paper, we cut out the little, I'm not sure what this is called, but I ended up putting it on the cup in the first card. And then we just use these to, I just, the, the tea kettle was just a little bit too plain for me, so I just kind of wanted to, to dress it up just a little bit. So that's how we're going to use those pieces. So the only stamping that we're going to do is we're going to use the Your URT Rific, 
and we're gonna stamp that right on our teapot and so I'm just gonna ink that up really quick and then just towards the bottom doesn't have to be exact we're just gonna stamp that up and that's all the stamping we're gonna do so we're gonna put this ink pad away if I can get it in the carousel so the only thing I'm going to do on my first card, I just put the paper on there plain. And with this one, I think I'm going to use the Trio Punch. I used it for a little trick, and I'll show you that in just a minute. So to use that, you just slide your, you have two little, two little openings there like the V. You slide your paper in so you can fill it. And you just push down, and it makes that cute little design on your paper. And then you just do the other corner. Push down. And then we're going to do this last, or the third corner. Felt like it moved. Push down. And then with this one. and push down. I think that looks so much cuter. So we'll just clean these. We're actually going to save three of those. The In my first card that I made in my sample card, I um, used the Hello Honey cardstock. So I'm hoping it's going to turn out with what we're going to do with those. So those actually are going to end up being our little droplets that go um, that are going and I messed up when I put that one on so don't pay attention to that so the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and if I can get my fingers to work we'll go ahead and and place our our designer paper so let me find right now. get my fast views Reused fast fuse, it does have a little bit of a learning curve, but once you get it figured out, it's easy as pie to use. So, and then this we don't want to, it's not really up high, but then again, it's not really down low, but it is more low than it's up high. So, we're going to adhere that, we're going to get our ribbon, and I like to just lay it in there, kind of fold it over. And I want to make sure that I'm leaving enough room to tie it, or enough lace to tie it. I guess not room. And I like to put this on so then I kind of know what I have to work with, where I need to put the tea kettle and things like that. Just hold it down with your finger. pull it through and then I like to cut mine at an angle and that one didn't really show up very well at an angle so I'm just gonna go back in and just trim just a little bit off of this one. You know, I think I'm just going to leave it like it is, the way it's laying. It kind of looks pretty. And then you can kind of open your card up and adjust it. And you can squish it up if you want to, but I kind of like to leave mine like that. So then we're going to take the um, two-way glue pen. And I love the two-way glue pen. I was very surprised to see it on the list. I'm going to miss it because I'm not very good at eyeballing things just like with putting that on. So I always like to use glue. So then we're going to put this here. And it sticks really well too. That's done. And then now we need to put on the little wavy dots. And just make sure that you have it flipped over on the right side. 
again. It really doesn't take a lot of this stuff. I'm going to just go ahead and ink this one up, or glue it up, I mean. Put that back there and just make sure there's one is a little bit longer than the other. So you want to make sure that you're grabbing the shortest one first. And then just lay it on your tea kettle. And that's why I like the two-way glue pen, because you have a little bit of time to adjust if you get anything going crooked or you need to move it back around. Okay. Now this is the, <clears throat> excuse me, this is the intricate part that is kind of tricky. So I'm going to make sure that I have the white side up. on the little dots that came off the, the three-way, um, tr the trio punch. I did forget to mention that we will use the espresso, early espresso. And the way that I did this was I just grabbed a Q-tip and just inked up one end of it and then just kind of ink up. And it's, it's such small pieces that it is really hard but I like these kind of things I like these challenges I'm going to use my snips to hold it down but you just want to make sure that you're inking that up and it's late at night so my eyes aren't working the best right now guys And then we're also going to use, or do the spoon, I'm sorry. And you can use the spoon, or do the spoon the way I did it earlier, was I just laid it on there. And kind of, and this side is going to be to the back, so it doesn't matter. And then you can go back in. And if you want to leave like a little area like that, that, because um, this is supposed to be representing the coffee on the spoon. So you can just kind of do that. And I even did it just a little bit down, going down like that on the neck of the spoon. Okay, that's it for that. And the crystal effects, when I read the instructions on how to do it, it said to use a paintbrush. And I did that. And I did not like the way that it turned out. So I'm going to show you. I just used the tip of the applicator to spread it around where I wanted it. And then just make sure when you're using that tip that you're not leaving an impression where it won't show up. Then with these guys, let me move them over so you can see them a little bit better off of where we sponged it. These are harder to do just because they're smaller. But if you try to not touch them like I just did with the paper, I found that that was the easiest way because you can see it just wants to stick to that and then when you try to pull it off with your and then you have that happen and then just leave it alone until it dries once you once you get it going just leave it because the more you mess with it the more in trouble you get like I am. And it's just, I mean, the only reason I'm having a hard time is because these are such tiny, tiny pieces. So I'm going to grab my little thingamajiggy here and see if I can, if that'll help. I used it earlier and it kind of... It's not going to let go. There we go. So this one I'm going to try to be really, really careful and not touch it and just kind of let it drop like that. And then I'm going to go back and try to do the same thing because you kind of want it to be the equal amount. And then you need to let this dry for three to five minutes. So I don't have any done, so I'm just going to pause the video.
and take a quick break while I'm waiting for it to dry and then we'll start back from the spot here. Here's the card, assemble it. I got my tweezers out to help pick up the little um, teardrop things that we got for the coffee pot. I accidentally ripped one when I picked it up so I'm only going to do two. I'm not going to wait for another one to dry. <clears throat> so the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to use the two-way glue pen again and just put the glue on the back of our and I really like this because like that right there you can really get into those intricate parts on your cutouts. So you want to put this up just a little bit and you want to make it look like it's going into the cup. So I'm going to place it right about there so that way we can still see the cute little <clears throat> designs. Grab our top for our tea kettle. And then we're just gonna, I like to put a little bit of space in there so that way you could see the, the designer paper that's back there. And then the cup, I kinda, on the other one, we kinda tilted it just a little bit so you can kinda eyeball it where you want it to go. Again, the two-way glue pen. And then we're just gonna position it there. And then with <clears throat> the spoon, this is where we use the subtle candy dots. I just kind of thought the spoon looked a little bit um, plain. And I tried, the first time I tried, like maybe putting like a little bit of ribbon around it or something like that. I just, just wasn't happy with it. So I'll just grab one of those and you can just... Put one at the bottom, and you can put however many you want. If you want to only put one, I just like to put two because how many of us that have our silverware? They're usually designed or something, they're not just plain silverware, they got some kind of design on them. So we'll put that there. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I don't want to touch the crystal effects, I haven't touched it to make sure that it's completely dry. I'm sure that it is. But I'm going to use the um, fine tip glue pen to put my glue on the back of this. And it's just because, like I said, I don't want to rub the other, and then it'll help right here to in that area too. And so with this, we just want to kind of put it off to the side. And you can either put it straight, but I'm going to leave mine like that because I like to be able to see the decorative part on that. And I'm still not going to push down on that. I mean, I think it's dry, but in order to get the video done, I wanted to kind of speed things up. So I'm just going to, and it'll, it'll, it'll grip, the back of the paper will grip it. <clears throat> so then I'm going to just go ahead while I have that open and put a dot there and a little dot there. And the, the fine tip glue pin, you do have to make sure that you put your lid back on it just as soon as you're done. It helps um, keep it from, from drying out. And every time I try to do this, if I'm not on camera, I get it to go in every time right away. But as soon as I try to do it on camera, I can't make it work. Okay, so we got our two little glue dots right there and then I'm just gonna take the tweezers, or so I think I'm going to, and I don't want to squeeze it. <laughs> oh no, I dropped it on the spoon. Try to get it out. Okay. And then we're just going to grab the other one and put it on there. And the crystal effects, you really have to make sure that it's dry. And that kind of made a little spot right there, but I think it's going to be okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm really not going to fuss with it much because I don't want to mess that up. That will dry and we can always go back and um, secure it just a little bit more if we need to. But I mean, as you can see, it's staying on there. It did make, I could go back in with the crystal effects if I wanted to just to touch that up a little bit. But I kind of like it like that because if you had your spoon in your coffee, it wouldn't be, you know, a perfect, it would, it would have some smudges on it and things like that. So that's that cute card. You can see the crystal effects. 
and if you don't have a demonstrator and you're looking for a demonstrator, I would love to help you out. I try to do videos a couple of times a week. Um, I have a blog. It's bobbystamps.blogspot.com. I like to do weekly giveaways um, on my blog. I post on my blog quite a bit. So if you're not currently working with a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to have your business, and you can visit my blog at bobbystamps.blogspot.com. Thanks, guys.